I greet you in the name of the Lord. What of exaltation with Sister Renata? I'll be exalting you on the topic, Singlehood Part 2. Life is in different phases. You have the singlehood phase and the married phase. As life is in different phases, one phase prepares the way for the next phase or the next stage to follow. Treasure each stage of your life. If the first stage is laid on the Lord's foundation, then the subsequent phases will not collapse despite the pressure or circumstances surrounding it. Singlehood is like a river. You cannot touch the same water twice because the flow that has passed will never pass again. Enjoy your singlehood. Treasure your singlehood. Be happy in your singlehood, knowing that when you are married, you can only recall your single days and you will never live in your single days again. What to do as a single? Firstly, give God the first place. In the book of Matthew 6 verse 33, the word of the Lord says, Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things will be given to you as well. Second God means turning your ways to the Lord. If you give God the first place, you can never come last in life. Put God first and watch him change your life. All these things in Matthew 6 verse 33 include marital blessings, financial blessings, material possessions, just to name a few. God should be the topmost priority in your life. If you say God first, he will take care of all your other needs. Giving God the first place means to live with God first. How do you give God the first place as a Christian single? Firstly, search for the Lord in the scriptures. As a single, if you are looking for love and you don't find love, you'll be lonely. But if you search for the Lord in the scripture, you will find him. And when you find him, he will give you peace. He will give you happiness and you will be filled and occupied. The secret of a happy life is giving the Lord the first place. And he should be the topmost priority in your decisions. And he should occupy the first place in your heart. In the book of Jeremiah 29 verse 13, the word of the Lord says, You will seek me. And find me when you search for me with the whole of your heart. Our God is a jealous God. He will not contend with a divided heart. You cannot save two masters at a time. Either you will love one and hate another. As a single, seek the Lord more than anything else. Search for him. He has the key for marital breakthrough. Search for him. He has the key for marital success. Search for him and he will give you a partner who is not searching for someone else in the name of Jesus. Amen. Also, to give God the first place as a single Christian, be prayerful. As a single Christian, pray against rejection. Pray against delay. Pray against near to success syndrome. Pray for marital success. Pray and define how you would like your marriage to look like. In the book of James 3 verse 5, the word of the Lord says, Is anyone among you suffering? Let him pray. Is anyone cheerful? Let him praise. When you praise the Lord as a single, he will press down the pressure surrounding your life. Every great moment of the Lord can be traced to a kneeling figure. God hears prayers. God answers prayers. God delivers through prayers. Prayer is an intercontinental missile. Prayer can take you through the world without transportation, without flight. Prayer is the only instrument that can be launched anywhere and at any time. As a single Christian, prayerfully submit your request to the Lord, knowing that your prayers will go far and near to connect you with your future partner in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Secondly, as a Christian single, be persistent. Persistency guarantees that the results are inevitable. When you persist, you are telling the Lord, Lord, I know you have the keys for that marital door. I know you open the marital door for me. Persistency is the key to success. Persistency is the doorway for manifestation. When you persist, the door of resistance will be open. In addition, as a single Christian, forgive yourself and others. 
Maybe in your life you have things that you did in the past that whenever you think of them, you feel bitter, embarrassed and ashamed. It's time to let go. I wish to ask you, if you don't forgive yourself, who else will forgive you? If you forgive yourself, you are opening the way for yourself. If you don't forgive yourself, you'll be bitter. And when you are bitter, it can easily lead to depression. Forgive all those who disappointed you. Forgive all those who insulted you or who are insulting you because of your marital situation. Forgive all those who have belittled you because you are still single. More importantly, forgive yourself for allowing them to hurt you. May the Lord give you the grace to forgive yourself and to forgive others in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. More so as a Christian single, wait on the Lord. Wait on the Lord and be of good courage and he will strengthen your heart. Psalms 27 verse 14. Happy is the single who learns how to wait as he or she prays and never loses his or her patience for God's time is the best. If you are waiting on the Lord for a partner, do what waiters do. Be committed to the things of the Lord and be faithful. May the Lord give you the grace to wait patiently in the name of Jesus. Those who wait on the Lord can never waste in life. Show me a man who waited on the Lord patiently and I will show you an overcomer. Show me a man who waited patiently on the Lord and I will show you a victorious person. Furthermore, as a Christian singer, lean on the Lord, not by might, not by power, but by the Spirit says the Lord. Zechariah 4 verse 6. Lean on God completely and trust him to give you the strength to do what you need to do. God is the source of your strength. Lean on him. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. Proverbs 3 verse 5. Lean on the Lord and he will not let you down. Some trust in chariots. Some trust in horses. They will trust in the name of the Lord. Wait on God's timing. He's never too late. He's always on time. May the Lord give you the grace to wait in the name of Jesus. Beside as a single Christian, focus on the Lord. Take your eyes off what you don't have and focus on the Lord. Please, as singles, focus on the Lord. Don't focus on your singlehood. If you focus on your singlehood, you'll be broken. And when you are broken, you can easily be depressed. Focus on the Lord as a single Christian. Allow the Lord to walk with, in and through you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Furthermore, as a Christian singer, guard your heart. Guard your thoughts. Don't allow your thoughts to hang around. Don't allow your thoughts to be loose. Guard your thoughts with the word of the Lord. Be careful how you think. Your life is shaped by your thoughts. Besides, as a single Christian, focus on the Lord. Don't focus on what you don't have. Focus on the Lord. Don't be distracted as a single. Put your focus on the Lord. When you focus on the Lord, the situations, the failure around you will give way. And when you focus on the Lord, he will give you peace that this world can never give. Also, as a single Christian, trust in the Lord. Jesus is the only one who can change your sadness into joy, your weakness into strength, your fear into faith, your singlehood into married life. You don't have to be afraid of the unknown. It is unknown only to you. Keep trusting the Lord. God is always in control. Even when the circumstances seem out of control, he knows and he is in the midst of that uncontrollable situation to give that situation control in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Those who trust in the Lord will never be stranded in life. As a Christian singer, your part is to wait on the Lord. Your part is to trust in the Lord. His part is to bring his promises into fulfillment in your life. Lastly, as a Christian single, fear the Lord. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Be devoted to him. May the Lord help you to follow to these rules as a single so as to better your life, so as to wait patiently and be expectant in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. As a single Christian, encourage yourself with the following. Firstly, it's never too late. Paul, the late comma, became the frontliner. It's never too late for the Lord to change your situation. Secondly, hope never fails. 
hope in the Lord. In the book of Romans 5 verse 5, the word of the Lord says, And hope will never fail to satisfy our deepest need. Because the Holy Spirit that was given to us flooded our hearts with God's love. Hope sees the invisible, feels the intangible, and achieves the impossible. May the Lord empower us with the garment of hope in our single days in the mighty name of Jesus. Thirdly, as a single Christian, remind yourself of the importance of staying calm. Be patient. Patience is not the ability to wait. Rather, it is the ability to keep the right attitude, to be positive while waiting. Patience is the calm acceptance that things will get better. How to encourage yourself as a single? Firstly, have self-confidence. Believe in yourself. Believe that things will change. May the Lord give you the grace to have self-confidence and to believe knowing that things will want to change in the name of Jesus. Self-confidence is a superior power. Once you start to believe in yourself, God will see your faith and will grant the desires of your heart. Confidence is like a muscle. The more you use it, the more it will grow. Have confidence knowing that God is preparing the best partner for you. And when the process is completed, things will manifest. If you believe it, shout hallelujah to the Almighty. Secondly, to encourage yourself as a single, stop comparing yourself with others. Be yourself. You can't be someone else. There's no comparison between the sun and the moon. They shine when it's their time. When you compare yourself with others, you will lose confidence in yourself. When you compare yourself with others, you become vain and bitter. Be yourself. May the Lord give you the grace not to compare yourself with others in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thirdly, as a single Christian, be positive. A positive mindset attracts positive things. Fourthly, to encourage yourself as a single, take one day at a time. Live in the now. You cannot go behind and change things. You don't know what tomorrow will bring. Live in the now and be hopeful in the mighty name of Jesus. Do not worry about tomorrow. Do not worry about anything. You cannot change anything. By worrying, you cannot even change anything. You cannot change your situation. Just live in the now and be hopeful in the name of Jesus. Finally, to encourage yourself as a Christian singer, join Christian groups. Join educative Christian groups where you can be encouraged, where you can together pray and pour out your heart to the Lord in the name of Jesus. Amen. As a single Christian, trust in God's timing. Wait for his answer. Rely in his promises. Rejoice in his kindness. Relax in his presence. Embrace singlehood. The first way to embrace singlehood is to accept the season in which you find yourself. Live in the now. No matter how long it's been, no matter how impossible it looks, if you stay in faith, your own time will eventually come in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I have the following food for thoughts for you. Keep your eyes on the Lord and not on your singlehood because you can't succeed without the Lord. Don't worry about the doors that didn't open. What God has in store for you will always be for you. Don't mistake God's patience for his absence. His timing is perfect and his presence is constant. May the Lord give us the grace to patiently wait on him in the mighty name of Jesus. May the Lord lead us through this journey successfully in the mighty name of Jesus. May the Lord help us not to compromise in our days of singlehood in the name of Jesus. And may the Lord forgive us for compromising in any way because we are single in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Please, I just want us to use a few minutes of our time and talk to the Lord. Firstly, I want us to appreciate him for his word in the name of Jesus. Father, we worship and we bless you. We thank you for your word. My God and my King, you care for us singles. My God and my Father, that is why you are sending your encouraging word to encourage us. Father, we thank you for your word. My God, I thank you because I know all those that will listen to this word will be tremendously blessed. Father, I thank you, oh God and my Father, because all those that will listen to this word, my Father, they will have absolute confidence and faith in you, knowing that at the right time you open the door for them and they will be settled in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Secondly, I want us to bring our singlehood situation before the Lord in the name of Jesus. 
Father, oh God and my Father, you created a male and female. My God and my Father, wherever our partners are, we pray for connection. May you connect us in the name of Jesus. We pray that, oh God and my Father, before this year comes to an end, my God and my Father, your children will celebrate, your children will jubilate because they will be settled maritally in the name of Jesus. Any stumbling block, any hindering factor that is hindering them, that has been limiting them, that has been veiling them, oh God, hindering them, limiting them from their partners, from seeing them, my God and my Father, when power jumper, let power must bow. Let the power of rejection bow this day in the name of Jesus. Lastly, if you have not yet made your ways right with the Lord and you desire the Lord to be your shield, your protector, and your preserver, please pray this prayer after me. Lord Jesus, forgive my sins. Cleanse me. Purify me. I am a sinner, but I don't want to continue as a sinner. I want the sacrificial work of the cross to be upon my life. I want your grace to cover me. I want your grace to shield me. Father, forgive me. Have mercy. Cleanse me in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. God bless you and see you again next time. Goodbye.